I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Winter Haven. I'm Ellie, and you're watching BDTV for Tuesday, September 10th, 2024. Coming up on today's show is Dress Code and Aerospace Academy. Come on. Shout out to them apple bottom jeans, green boots with the fur. The whole club is looking at her. I'm Viviana. And I'm Gabe. Let's get into the announcement. Students, make sure to check your school email every day. You may receive important news through your school email. There will be community service opportunities posted on the Guidance Department's Community Service Bulletin Board. Check these out for community service hours. Community service hours should be turned into Ms. Bachman to post on your transcript. Tardies have started. Make sure you're getting to class on time or you're going to the den. If you're a faculty or a senior and you want to paint a parking spot, now is your chance to sign up. It is $20 for teachers and staff and $30 for students. You will need to supply your own paint. Designs and payment are due to Ms. Bachman on September 19th. The painting will take place Friday, September 20th and Saturday, September 28th. Seniors must have not have any obligations. Voting for Homecoming Court will take place today and tomorrow. You are only allowed to vote once. Homecoming tickets will be sold from October 2nd through the 8th, only during lunches. If you have an overdue textbook or an overdue library book, an obligation, or five unexcused absences for this year, you cannot buy a ticket. You can check for your student portal for obligations and absences. I bet everyone running for homecoming stays in dress code. What are you wearing tomorrow for the first day of school? I'm not too sure. I'm going to go home, look up some videos and pictures to get an idea. But as of right now, I'm not too sure. What are you going to wear? I think I'm going to wear my favorite jeans and then this cute ruffle top I have. I love that. OK. <laughs> you're wearing a different outfit for today. Yeah, I was going to wear my shirt, but then it was too short, and then my jeans had holes above the knees. Oh, well, I hope this is good. I don't know. They really care about dress code here. I'll be fine. Hey, you. You are not in dress code. Follow me. I brought you in here today because you are not in dress code. But I thought I was. I saw a video. No, that is not the dress code at Winter Haven. Then what is it? At Winter Haven, we do not tolerate sagging, tank tops, crop tops, Rips above the knees, hats, hoods, and shorts must be around the knee. Don't wear that again. Stay in dress code next time. I promise I will. I see that you're in dress code today. Yeah, I got pulled aside into the office yesterday for my outfit, and I'm never doing that again. Yeah, I really wasn't lying whenever they said not to be in dress code. No, you're right. And I hope you never wear anything like what I wore, because I don't want you getting in trouble. Yeah, that would be terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I stay in dress code. Last Thursday, our teachers participated in the teacher dress up day. Scan this QR code to vote who dressed the best. Congressman Scott Franklin is hosting a service day academy this Saturday, September 14th at 9 a.m. to learn about the application and nomination process. Representatives from the U.S. Naval Academy, Merchant Marine Academy, Military Academy, and Air Force Academy will be there to answer any questions. If you're interested in attending a service academy, please attend. Family members, counselors, and educators are also welcome. Our JROTC female Raider team won second place in the 5K and second on the rope bridge. Our male team won second on the run as well as third place on the Raider fitness test. Congratulate them if you see them. If you are a senior and you leave school early with an OJT or no credit study hall, there is a volunteer opportunity for you. This Friday, September 9th, beginning at 12 p.m., the Women's Research Center is having a fundraiser and are in need of volunteers to help set up for the event. See Ms. Bachman for more details. Hey Viviana, do you know about our Aerospace Academy? Welcome to the first edition of Behind the Scenes with Our Blue Devils, where we will be looking into the special academies we offer here at Winter Haven. Today, we are looking to the Aerospace Academy, which is a three-time recipient of the James C. Ray Scholarship Award. I'm Aiden with BETV. Let's go check out our Aerospace Academy. What's the coolest part about being in aerospace? Um, the coolest thing is probably learning about the weather. 
Learning about all the science behind like how airplanes work and how they move and how they get lift and stuff, it's just really interesting to me. Learning how to fly. The coolest part about aerospace is probably that I'm really intrigued about learning about the angle of attack. Aerospace is the industrial branch of research which refers to the atmosphere and outer space. It is a rapid growing industry with brand new companies emerging constantly. In 2022, the U.S. aerospace market was valued at $103 billion and is projected to go up to $218 billion in eight years. Only five years ago, our Aerospace Academy started out as an elective and has since then grown into academy. Aerospace impacts your daily life. It's not just about planes, but it's also used in drones like delivering your Amazon packages. What's your favorite part about being in aerospace? My favorite part is learning how to fly and getting to go to Sun and Fun later in the year and see all the cool plants and talk to cool people. Aerospace is such a fascinating academy that we offer here, so make sure to take advantage of this opportunity. The term aerospace made its first appearance in the 1950s and it's a subject that you can learn so much about. I'm Aiden with BDTV. Go check out our Aerospace Academy. Thanks Aiden. Make sure you get your parking decal from Miss Woodhead's office if you haven't already. There is a parent player meeting for girls weightlifting on September the 12th in the cafeteria patio at 6 o'clock. Hope to see you there. Well, that's all we have for you today, Winter Haven. I'm Serenity with BDTV. Have a great day and stay tuned for Homecoming and Student Council. Sesame Street!